Dogs have been close companions to humans for centuries, even participating in war. They've been used to track enemies, guard prisoners, and protect soldiers. While these loyal animals often face dangers they can't fully comprehend, recent technological developments have focused on creating robotic versions, robot dogs, that can take on similar roles with significantly less risk. Several countries have already established programs and even deployed these mechanical canines in military operations. In this video, we'll explore everything we know about robot dogs by examining the programs of various nations. Make sure to watch until the end. You won't want to miss this one. The idea of robots on the battlefield has long been influenced by science fiction. The concept of military robot dogs began gaining attention in the early 2000s, primarily through the efforts of the US-based company Boston Dynamics, in collaboration with the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. In 2005, Boston Dynamics introduced Big Dog, hailed as the most advanced quadruped robot on Earth at the time. Funded by DARPA, the robot was designed as a mechanical mule to support soldiers in terrains too difficult for traditional vehicles. Despite its innovative design, Big Dog never entered production for the military. While Boston Dynamics have been traditionally been wary about the prospect of arming its platforms, an armed version was later actually developed, but it was ultimately rejected because it was deemed too loud to fight. By the early 2010s, DARPA had shelved the project. But the quest for armed robot dogs did not end here. By 2024, it was revealed that US Marines special operators were testing robotic dogs equipped with guns based on sentry automatic machine guns. Robotic quadrupeds have become increasingly prevalent within the US military in the last few years, used for tasks such as bomb disposal and perimeter patrols. In fact, Reports indicate that Israeli forces have already deployed these exact robot dogs in Gaza. Manufactured by the US-based company Ghost Robotics and priced at $130,000 each, these platforms, known as Vision 60, are capable of scouting above and below ground, navigating rough terrain like piles of dirt and rubble, and walking through deep water. Although official reports from Israel claim that the Vision 60 units were unarmed, the manufacturer's website states that these robots can be equipped with a remote actuated weapon system, allowing them to carry different calibers of guns and be autonomously controlled. Not to be outdone, just weeks after this story became public, the Chinese military released a YouTube video showcasing their own four-legged robot armed with an assault rifle, working alongside soldiers in training exercises. In the video, a soldier mentions, it can serve as a new member in our urban combat operations, as footage shows the robot firing its rifle in bursts. The video emphasizes the robot's potential to enter dangerous situations ahead of human soldiers. In another segment, a group of similar machines performs push-ups in unison. Robot dogs have also reportedly been deployed in Ukraine. According to a Forbes article, Ukrainian forces are already utilizing robotic dogs on the battlefield. Supplied by the British company Robot Alliance, these robots are not autonomous but are remotely controlled, functioning as ground-based equivalents to aerial drones. The company has provided 30 of these robots, which are used to explore buildings, trenches, and dense woodland, where drones cannot reach, assisting in locating booby traps and Russian forces. As we've seen, robot dogs are no longer just a concept from science fiction. They are being tested and deployed on real battlefields around the world. These developments raise many questions about the future of warfare, the ethical implications of autonomous weapons, and how these technologies will continue to evolve. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.